here we go. We are going to create the swivel peg. This is going to be the peg that goes from the front to the back through those little squares. Swivel peg, because it's got a little bit of a swivel into it. All right. Sketch, front, front. Fr fr there we go. Good. Okay, it's working. All right. My mouse is working now. Okay. So, <clears throat> as we look at this S shape, you would think maybe you could draw it and then extrude it up. <clears throat> but that's not going to work, because we have a different arc here and a different arc here. So what we're going to do is this fillet is actually going to be the fillet inside here. And we're going to use a tool called sweep. So we're going to create this line. It's going to uh, have a fillet here, come down, have a fillet here. And then we're going to sweep the shape along. Okay. So I want to start at my apex. I'm going to draw some lines. I want a line going this way. I want a line going, oops, I want a line going up. And I want a line going sideways to start off. I'm going to dimension these. They're going to be 1.125. I could have typed these in as I was building it. This dimension is going to be 0.75, and this one is going to be 1.125. So there's my shape. But I've got to come back and do a fillet on this curve in between here and here. And I want that fillet to be not 0.5, I want it to be. 0.25 and I'm going to do the same thing here and here come out green check mark and so there is my swivel path that I want it to follow so drew the S choose the fillet change the dimension of that fillet for both of them and so the fillet's going to be the same on both of them. Pull this down here so you can see it a little bit better. So we have a fillet of 0.25. Okay, green check mark. And we're going to use this tool called sweep. To do a sweep, we have to have two different surfaces. We have to have a face that it's going to travel with and a path. Let me exit out of this again because we have our path. We just don't have our shape. So I'm going to put this on the right face, start a new sketch, put it on the right face. But I'm looking at the left, so we want to switch it around. Put it on the right face. I'll draw my square. And this time, I'm not going to use a regular square. I'm going to use the center point square because I want the center point of this square to be right in this center at this center dot. So I'm going to click on that, draw my rectangle out. Its dimensions are 0.5, enter, 0.5, enter, and that forces the square to line up directly in the center of that dot. That's what the center point rectangle is for. Green check mark, back to isometric so we can see what's happening. So we have our path that it's going to follow, and we have our shape that's going to spin around that path. I'm going to use sweep. First thing it asks me to do is choose my path, or no, choose the face. So I'm going to choose my face first, and then we need a sweep path. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose, oops, highlight it, come over here and choose my sweep path. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to click on each piece of it, but it forces it to follow that path. Green check mark. Last thing I need to do is I need to fillet these fat uh, uh, 
sharp angles. So I'm going to go fill it. And this fillet needs to be 0.25 because that's typical for the entire thing. And I'm going to choose that line, which causes it to spin around or fill it out. And then I want to choose this line, green check mark. And there's my shape. That's the shape I want. It follows it around. I've created a swivel peg. Change the color two finger click and let's go with orange green check mark take a picture of it turn it in